And behind me here is Satoshi Tajiri's childhood home where he lived until the age of 16, 17, possibly even 20 when he was in university. But at least uh, he was in this house when he was in high school. Um, and this is a very quaint area, you know. It's, it's remarkable that this building is still here um, because most of Machida is is uh, very urbanized and developed um, in the past 40, 50 years. So it's really remarkable that we get to see this place, to be honest. Because when Satoshi was a child, this area was completely countryside. And it's really hard to imagine the kind of world that he lived in when he imagined Pokemon. Next, we will look at Satoshi Tajiri's elementary school and high school. So let's go. Okay, so I want to talk about the circle of life a little bit. So behind me is the elementary school of Satoshi Tajiri. And I just saw a kid with a Pokemon t-shirt. Little did he know that the creator of Pokemon actually went to his very school and was running around the very same schoolyard that he was running around sporting the Pokemon t-shirt. It's funny how life works, isn't it? I just couldn't help but laugh when I saw that. It's sweet. Because it's not really advertised that Satoshi Tajiri went to this school. It's not really public information. But local people are well, are kind of aware of it because they, they know, okay, Satoshi Tajiri's name is in the school register. Here, yeah. but it's not really like tada, this is the creator of Pokemon School. You know, this is not really something that happens in Japan, but needless to say, it's just really wonderful to see a, a child sporting a Pokemon t shirt <laughs> in the very same school that the creator of Pokemon attended. It's just wonderful to see that.
I'm in the place where Satoshi Tajiri first started collecting bugs. So this park is like about seven minutes walk from his uh, elementary school and high school. So it's very plausible that he spent his childhood catching bugs like many Japanese children do in this park which is right in the vicinity of his house and um, school. It's really enchanting if you think about it. It's just walking through this forest you can really see the building blocks of Pokemon come together. As you can see behind me there's Machida city and then there's mountain range behind and the cityscape. It's really beautiful. And then you have the woodlands here. So my conclusion is that Satoshi really imagined Machida superimposed onto Kanto. And it doesn't make sense until you travel to both places as I have. I've traveled across Kanto and I've traveled through Machida following the footsteps of Satoshi Tajiri. So it's very clear that he was imagining Machida with all these small houses and building blocks. There you have it guys. Let's move on to the next stop. So guys, behind me is the university which Satoshi Tajiri attended and this is where he learned the uh, technical skills that was necessary for design thinking and problem solving which is um, probably the genesis of uh, when he was thinking about game design and um, how the arcade systems worked and how he could think about cheat codes and uh, hints and tips for readers of Game Freak magazine. And I'd like to think that this was the genesis of the Pokemon games where he could apply all of these skills that he learned here into making Pokemon games. <laughs> 